All right, so today I'm going to tell how to set up the affiliate on your own domain. It's really easy and it won't take much time if you do it perfectly. It's hardly going to take about two minutes or so. Because first of all, uh, whatever domain that you're setting up, you need to go to its control panel. In order to access its control panel, uh, it's very easy. You just type the domain that you're setting up and then after that domain let's say i'm using go travel uh, bargains.com after that domain just put a slash and then type c p a n e l that's it c panel yeah control panel press enter once you've done that you will be on the control panel of that website there you need to type the required username that you would be given and the password for it then press on login once you're into the control panel you need to scroll down to the area where it says domains this one there you need to see this there is a section called simple zone editor you need to press that once you're in simple zone editor there's a list of domains from that list select the domain that you're setting up for example we're setting up go travel bargains this is the same as the URL one so you select that here now there are two fields here the one says that add an a record you don't have to do anything with that just leave that blank just scroll down to the field where it says add a c name record <coughs> there in the name section you need to just type hotels h o t e l s hotels that's it then in the c name section <coughs> this would always remain the same you need to type brands b r a n d s brands dot data h c d a t a h c dot com that's the c name and that's the name in the name section you just need to type hotels and the rest would appear automatically once you're done with this just press add c name record and now you can see that it has been added successfully and when you scroll down you can see it in the list there here it is okay so once this is done then you need to go to the affiliate website open a new tab and type affiliates dot hotels combined dot com you need to go there press enter once you're into the website uh, you need to press on log on on the left side here you need to type the email address that you would be given and the password for it and then press log on okay so once you're here you need to scroll down and the, on the left side you can see a lot of options press on private branding that's the fourth one here click on create new private brand okay so here you can see two options you need to select the second one which says create a simple private brand just select that and click on it okay here there are some details that you need to fill the first one is the brand name here the name of the website would go for example go travel bargains for now and the display name would also be the same so you just copy paste it okay in the brand logo uh, you need to uh, select the logo for the website so in order to upload the logo you click on manage images once you're into the manage images in the upload section you choose file you browse the file on your computer for example I'm using go travel bargains logo so I'm going to select that once you've selected that press on open click on upload once you're done with uploading you again scroll down and you can see that there's a 
there's back written click on that once you're again on to the previous page select the logo that you've just uploaded from the list select that and press on select the, the logo would appear however it says that the dimensions are not suitable and the image should be smaller than 350 pixels wide and 200 pixels high so you need to resize the logo in order to fit it so i'm going to resize it now uh, you can resize it uh, either in photoshop or any other tool you you would like for example i'm going to use photoshop in photoshop you just open the logo and then you click on image you click on image you select image size and uh, there it needs to be 350 pixels wide so you just type 350 the height would be adjusted itself press ok it's done you save the new logo and then you go back to the affiliates website I'm going to save it with the name resize save that okay so this is saved now go back to the website here you remove the previous logo you again click on manage images you upload the new logo the resized version of it choose file select the resized version and <coughs> select this one press on open upload it once it has been uploaded then again click on back okay now select the new logo that you've uploaded the one that says resize go travel bargains this one here it is click on this press on select and now you can see that there is no error the perf the logo fits perfectly okay and this is important in the private branding subdomain section you need to type the domain that you just have created the c name this name yeah hotels.go travelbargains.com you just copy from here from the c panel and you just paste it don't don't copy the dot in the end you don't have to copy the dot in the end now after this click on click on validate it would say that subdomain is valid this means that you have done perfectly fine here till here in the English in the language you need to select English in the template you need to select standard side for the color theme it's most of the cases it's blue theme but if you want to use another theme a red theme or maybe you can click on uh, edit in order to edit the color theme accordingly in the custom home page link you need to enter the url of the original website just the home page of that website for example mine is go travel bargains.com so that's it that would go here after this in all of these three boxes you need to put a tick once this is done just press on save changes so basically this is created your domain is created you can copy and paste this in the browser and you can see that it would be accessible and would be perfectly fine you can see the logo as well and everything is done so this is pretty much it after this since uh, you will be trying you'll be changing websites for example you've been given a website already made and you need to make changes to it for example i need to make changes to itravelerdeals.com in order to suit the current website for example go travel bargain so you open the uh, admin area of the wordpress for that website once you're here first of all you need to go to appearance select menus once you're in the menus you scroll down in the section that says hotels in here you need to change the url to the new url that you have just created that is hotels.gotravelbargains.com so you just copy this and you paste it so that yeah just remove the whole thing and just paste the new one and press on save menu and it's going to be updated accordingly so after this after you've done this you need to also edit the home page section in the go to the pages there it is go to pages in the pages you press on home page 
once in the home page section first of all scroll down and in the second section you can see there are four blurbs you need to change you need to edit all four of them how I'll show you for example the first one open the blurb and just just this thing you need to replace this thing with the new URL that you've created it says I travel deals you replace it with the go travel bargains URL that you've just created you don't have to change anything else just pre then press on save and exit and you'll be done with this thing you need to do this for all the four blurbs then you scroll down here you can see slider you need to press on slider click on new slide settings here you need to also change this URL to the new one then again press on save press on save and exit you need to do for all the sliders here then also for the text you edit the text in the text you can see that this for example if you select all of this there is a link here you press edit here also you change the URL to the new one here this one you will change it and then press on apply also you need to change it for the images click on image click on edit here you can see the URL the old URL you need to change just this specific thing to the new URL and then press on update and save and exit you need to do for both of these text and images and you need to do it for all the sliders and text here on the right side after the divider there is a text you edit that there it is also very similar to the one that I've shown it has images and the URL is also there in the titles you need to edit it change the URL to the new one edit the image as well change the URL just that thing to the new URL and press on update then press on save and exit and you need to do it for all the images here and this would also for these sliders as well and now you the last thing would be about the code you also need to change the settings for the code that you see on the this one yeah so for that you again have to go to the website the affiliates website this one you on the left side you can see affiliate links press on that press on search boxes and select select on create a new then you can see the first one say that says generic search box click on this one once you're here you in the width section just select the hundred percent in the search box name you just type the name of the website for example go travel bargains is my website for now I'm going to type that go travel bargains okay in the search box title just press change and change that to hotel search in the language uh, English would remain the same this is important in brand you need to select the one to, for your website that is go travel bargains you need to select this once you've selected this there is you need to leave the sites thing empty for the color scheme you can select the uh, any theme you want you can also edit it and then you just press on save changes once you press on save changes you're going to go uh, to a page where you can see an HTML code here this one if you scroll down you can see this code here just copy all of this code select all and copy once you've copied this go back to the WordPress copy WordPress and in the WordPress area in the code edit that code and just delete the old code just delete it and paste the new one that you've just copied and just press save and exit and after doing all this don't forget to update this and that's pretty much it and also you need to change the pictures 
on the home page to make it different from the old website and that's pretty much it thank you for watching and i hope you can if you have any questions you can still ask and thank you